voted you as most improved player and comeback player of the year. Uh, I'm thinking comeback for the reason might not be what you'd want, but to, uh, nice to be able to uh, win awards and, and be in this position considering that a year ago uh, you were looking at a much more uncertain future. Yeah, it's definitely an honor. Um, you know, Dwight just told me just told me that a couple minutes ago. It's cool. You know, it's something that you don't really think about as, as things are happening, but it's cool to be honored in, in such a way. And um, this makes me thankful for the guys I've got to play with this year and how this team has has responded uh, to everything we've been through and uh, just continue to battle and, and find a way to win. You know, we have a bunch of good guys on this team that that love playing the game, that love working together and uh, and competing together. And uh, I'm proud of our guys and and. I think the awards are just a reflection of, of the kind of guys that we have on this team. The, the most improved, I mean, do you see in your eyes that you've improved or do you think you just found yourself in a spot where, you, where you've been able to, to excel? Uh, I mean, it's tough to say. I mean, I think if you look statistically, obviously, it's better. But uh, I don't feel like I've, I've changed a whole lot. Um, just how I approach the game or how I play the game, I, I don't think it's changed a whole lot. But uh, yeah, it's definitely an honor. Hey, how's, how's the week going, I guess, from a preparation standpoint? How, how ready is this offense for Sunday? Uh, it's been a good week of preparation. You know, our, our guys have done a good job. Um, obviously, all the uh, all the fanfare, but it's business as usual inside the building. You know, guys are, are coming to work, and uh, there's an energy, there's an excitement, but uh, at the same time, it's been steady. It's been uh, consistent with what we've been doing all year. You know, Coach Rabel's message was, why change now? And that's kind of been our, our mentality is, hey, just do what we've been doing to get ourselves here, whether that's preparation or um, you know, getting your body right, whatever it may be, just keep consistent and, and stay on the path that we've been on. How much of having Adam back this week uh, potentially give you another weapon to work with on offense? Obviously having Adam back would be nice, potentially. You know, he's uh, a guy that's played really well for us throughout the year. Obviously look back at the last time we played these guys coming up with a big Touchdown there at the end. Uh, he's made consistent plays for us. Uh, third down in the red zone, whatever it may be. So uh, definitely look forward, hopefully, to, to having him back. Sunday's forecast, Brian, is for 23 degrees as the, as the high in Kansas City. Uh, what's that do uh, potentially to, to a passing game? Does that have much of an impact potentially on, on passing attack, whether it's you guys or, or, or the other team? I don't think so. I've played some cold games, and uh, unless the wind's really blowing, that the wind affects it more than, than the cold, you know, in my opinion. Obviously, every guy's going to have a different opinion, but that's been my experience with it, you know, as, as my career's gone on. So, uh, honestly, I don't, I don't think it plays a, a big factor. Do a pair of sleeves make a little statement? Do what? Do short sleeves make a little statement in the cold weather? Short sleeves? Uh, I think the old line is, is big on the, uh, on the short sleeves, but uh, especially Quisenberry. You know, he's on the sideline in shorts and, and short sleeves all year, so. Uh, he definitely is our is our hype man and, and brings a lot of juice with those sleeves over there. Did you, did you do anything like I imagine the game's up in Buffalo? You had a few cold ones up there. Did you do anything different, like gloves, anything like that? Uh, I've never been a fan of gloves. You know, I like to feel the ball and uh, just feel it come off my hand and uh, just feel that control. So uh, I've tried gloves. I haven't been a fan of it. Um, yeah, wear an extra layer under your pads. That's about it.